body. This moon here. So I haven't been doing much lately at all. At least it feels that way. Last week was finals week and when my final final was over I kind of crashed. I've been trying to motivate myself ever since. Luckily I did manage to motivate myself into cleaning the house a bit. And by a bit I mean my living room and my kitchen. I'm still trying to sort through my office. And I am leagues away from setting my bedroom to rights. But spring, or summer, cleaning has begun for me. And it'll probably take quite a while to finish. Mostly because my ADD causes me to stop while I'm organizing and fixate on whatever it is in whatever stack that's next to me. Remembering where it came from. Rejoicing in finding something I thought I'd lost. Trapper Keeper. Or wondering why I thought I needed it in the first place. Guide to evil roleplay? Why not? Mainly I am checking in because I haven't in a while, and for a couple of other reasons. One, to let you know that I am, in fact, still alive. Second, to show you something nifty and nostalgic that I found. And lastly, to announce major plans near the end of August. Now as you can see, I am still alive, so we might as well go ahead and move on to the next item on the agenda. While going through these stacks of stuff, I came across this. Ta-da! The movie journal. I remember buying this one feels like eons ago. At the time, I had serious high hopes for this. This was back in the day when I lived in South Louisiana, and Rico and Chibi were living there as well. We'd get together a lot back then, and of course, we watched movies. I had hoped we'd use it, and then I'd look back later and enjoy our wacky antic. Alas, no such luck. Two things hindered my plan from its success. One, Chibi went to college out of state. Two, we're easily distracted. And extraordinarily forgetful. Even when we did manage to get together and have movie days, we ended up having so much fun together and watching the movies that we forgot all about the journal. So when it became apparent that this poor thing would probably never properly be used, I put it in with the rest of my notebooks and papers and books and stuffs. Still, finding it was a lot of fun, especially since I really have gotten addicted to YouTube movie reviews. I've recently become enamored with Bandgeek 8408's reviews. I subscribed to him a while ago, but I think it was during the time when he was super busy and went through a dry spell as far as videos were concerned. We all go through times like that. His recent collab, which was a book versus movie review of Twilight, was so epic I can't even describe it. I enjoyed it very much, even though I am technically a Twilighter. Or I was before they were movies. Anyway, back to the journal. I was flipping through it and looking at the composition and the style and it just made me really wish that this project had been done properly. In the film log section there are blanks for the film's title, the author of the review, when it was viewed, the film category, and opinions and memorable moments. It's all well and good, but they only give you like half of a page for each one. In that same section there's a subsection called Great Moments, Inspirations, and Impressions. Once again, not nearly enough room. And why wasn't this put into the section with the film log? The next subsection within this section is film favorites. There's a space on each page for two people to list three of their favorite films. I could see how this could be awesome. If this journal were used in a group project, such as the way I intended to use it, this would be a great section to start with. Ideally, each person would get a chance to put in movie picks and recommendations and their favorites, and that way we could fill up this section before moving on to the film log. And then we'd make a point to go through each film and use the film log to show what we thought of each other's movie picks. The next section starts off with sneak previews. The next subsection in this section is actors, filmmakers, and notables. A spot to keep track of who's in what film and what other films they might be in. I actually did start keeping track of actors a long time ago when I realized that Omidon and Darth Vader really sounded similar. The trivia section contains a slot for the title of the movie and then a bunch of slots for the notes on the movie trivia. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I would put in the trivia section. Mostly because trivia can be any random thing under the sun. And there really is a lot of that floating around my head. You're talking to the girl that watches the commentaries here. The next section is called Museums and Landmarks. I'm honestly not that aware of museums or landmarks that are solely for movies. I assume that a movie landmark would be something like the cornfield in Field of Dreams. If anyone has an example of a movie, museum, or landmark, please share it with me. I'm eager to learn. <laughs> the next subsection kind of makes me laugh. It's the star sighting section. Once again, this book proves that it's for more active movie buffs. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really one to hunt for stars. This seems kind of more stalkerish to keep notes in a journal. So it's the Uma section for me. <laughs> 
Taking a picture of a star would probably be my version of a star sighting. I think that the star sighting section really could have just been left out, and the next section could have just been expanded. The autograph section. Once again, I'm not all that active in star hunting or anything. But if I were serious about this, I'd love the autograph section more than the star sighting section. This brings us to our next and final section. Sources for screen things. Actually a way of keeping track of all the places in which you can watch, receive, or rent movies. Rentals, libraries, mail order, cinemas, and internet. The next subsection is the collection subsection. Another section that shows that this book was made for me. Considering how OCD I am, it's amazing that I haven't come up with an Excel-based version of this on my own. Oh, wait. And finally, the last subsection of this epic journal. The traveling video section. The pages in this section are divided into two columns. One column for videos that you borrowed, the other columns for videos that you loaned out. Overall, this book is fairly amazing. The cover is durable. I could see using this on the go as well as at a writing desk. Also, it's styled real nice. It's actually pretty cool to look at with nothing in it at all. Pages are detailed and graphic. Like I said, the only complaint I really have is that spaces aren't big enough and it's divided up into a bunch of sections and it didn't really need to be. Still, I think it's awfully nifty. And since I've found it, and I don't really want it to go to waste and remain empty, I've decided to use it whenever I get my Netflix movies in. I may or may not film the reviews on these movies, but at least Nifty Journal won't go to waste. It really makes me wish that I was in some sort of collab channel here on YouTube. I could so see using this to base a movie or even book reviews on. So that is this nifty nostalgic thingy that I just found. Boy, I talk a lot here. I guess I'll see you guys- mm. Yes? Wow, you really are forgetful. I feel like I remember all. You're forgetting the final thing, the one you wanted to talk about in your video. Your announcement about the major plans near the end of August. Oh, yes, that totally slipped my mind. If you follow my other channel, Iron and Crystal House, you probably noticed that a bunch of videos were posted recently. They're all old videos from when Reiko and I went to MechaCon 4 in 2008. And my big, 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 big news is that despite fall semester starting in mid-August, I will be flying down to New Orleans to go to MechaCon with Reiko. Even though this trip is going to be shorter than I had hoped it would be, I am so excited to go. We get to hang out with Reiko at the convention. There is nothing more fun than going on a vacation with a friend to a convention. I'm convinced of that. I've done it twice already, and both times were just legendary fun. Anyway, I've gabbed enough. Entirely too much now that I think about it. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? There is, and I've forgotten it too. Guess you can wait till next video. Peace out! We are easily extracted. <laughs> easily extracted? I hate abduction! We are easily distracted and extraordinarily forgettable. Forgettable? <clears throat> Extracted and forgettable. <laughs> now why are you messing up my takes, huh? I know. Well, it's fine with me. I don't mind. Go sit in the window. It's funny that I have more outtakes when I've scripted something than when I don't.